Brilliant Brook 100 gives Yorkshire control. Marcus Harris's 100 on his Gloucestershire debut wasn't enough to hold back Yorkshire, who swept through the hosts' lineup, led by England's Matt Fisher, who took 4 for 19. And the visitors to the Bristol County ground had begun to make their way towards parity, starting day two on 37 for none, 190 in arrears. The opening partners wouldn't last too long on day two. George Hill caught behind off Ajit Singh Dale. The score was still short of 50 runs when debutant James Wharton let Ryan Higgins remove his off stump, uncontested. Milan joined live and stopped the flow of wickets. The two experienced heads brought a sense of calm to the Yorkshire innings, and soon they were on the cusp of three figures. Milan brought the 100 up. Taylor cut off the back foot to the ropes, and the pair had put on 50 together in the process. That figure was matched by Lithe himself. His hard-swept boundary off Gahar took him to 50, scored from 125 balls. But almost as soon as he'd picked up his half-century, Lithe had to go, out caught by Hammond off the bowling of Charlesworth for 55. Brook and Milan remained through to lunch. The score at the break, 129 for three, and Yorkshire were now just 98 behind. Seeing Dale struck again after the break, Milan's stump cartwheeling away, the England international out for 39. Duke was the next man in and watched on as an emphatic Brook pull shot found the ropes and 150 runs for Yorkshire. The two men combined well in the middle, soon finding their way to a 50-run partnership as Van Buren was left grasping at thin air. A shot full of touch from Duke took Yorkshire past 200 runs and earned them a first batting bonus point. Attention then turned to Brook, who, with a single off Taylor, found his way to 50 runs, scored off 84 balls. Duke would be unable to replicate his partner's score, well taken behind the stumps by Bracey off the bowling of Gohar for 34. He fell with the score one run shy of parity, but Bess and Brooke ensured that deficit became a 12-run lead, heading into the break at 239 for five. They looked good after tea, both men comfortably ticking the score along with Brooke starting to accelerate. Higgins punched down the ground for four and then over mid-wicket to bring up the 50 partnership. Brooke was on 99 and the score one shot to the fences away from 300 when Bess had to go, making sure through to Bracey having added 36. He'd been patient, one run away from a ton, but Brooke finally found the single he needed, up to 100 runs off 161 balls, another moment to savour for the young Yorkshire batter. It was his new partner Thompson who took Yorkshire to 300, not that he knew much about it, scampering through for the required single. It was 100 and out for Brook though, falling in unfortunate circumstances as the ball almost apologetically dribbled from his bat onto his stumps. Fisher joined Thompson at the crease and stuck with him, the lead was now passing 100 runs. But the England bowler wouldn't see out the day, caught behind off Van Buren, his wicket, the final action, the score at the close, 334 for 8, the lead 107. Yorkshire are in the driving seat in this match. They capitalised on a fine performance with the ball to build themselves a handy lead, which they'll look to build on on day three. Gloucestershire are by no means out of this though, and will be convinced that they can take something from this game.